things are made from one, and in the end, all things return to one. In other words, one is all. Indeed, and all is one as well. All is ultimately of the one. So if all is not included in the one, then all is nothing. You have passed. Peace. Y'all know what it is. Now's the vibrate. Coming from this book, Crystal Power, Crystal Healing. You know, and before getting into it, you know, now we're reaching a, a, a moment where you have to understand what's best for you in the balance of how much you read and how much you don't read. Because sometimes we can be consuming too much, you know, or trying to consume too much through books when we need to just be paying attention inward. But, you know, books are helpers as well. But, you know, again, a lot of this insight and information, you know, uh, you can tap into internally just as much as you can read about it. But, you know, uh, we're doing videos a lot of times, you know, for the sake of really wanting to make a clear expression on certain things. You know, it's, cer it's certain things that, you know, it's like I know I channel disinformation I know it could come off as out there, but I just need to say it. And I don't care about, you know, like, and, and what's funny, that's how real a channel message be, in essence, where you, you know it's that real to where you really don't care about trying to prove it to nobody. Like, you really don't care about trying to, like, you know, scientifically, you know, or logically or rationally show it to nobody. If it could be proven, you know, or dealt with on that level. But, you know, it's like when something comes to you on that level, it's like, look, this is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Compared to sometimes, you know, uh, with certain information, especially with stuff that, you know, is applicable, more applicable, let's just say, you know, want to give a little grounded little balance of again the rational or the logic and rational with the you know the intuitive you know artistic left brain right brain balance our masculine feminine balance but right here I got mineral classes I'm not getting too deep into mineral classes but mineral classes is another you know aspect of crystals that goes into its healing properties you know what I'm saying you know, these are the mineral classes, natural elements, sulfides, halides, oxides, carbonates, sulfates, phosphates, silicates. You know, and you see in each one, you know, natural elements, that's all just straight up elements, you know, like gold. That's a natural element. Copper, you know, it has nothing else to it, you know. And so those, those, uh, you know, quote unquote crystals, you know what I'm saying, or metals in essence have, uh, a purity energy you know they represent purity you know then you got the sulfides class you know and sulfides connect with you know uh mirrors of hitting hitting things you know and then you go down you got halides or how i think i'm saying that right highlights but anyway uh they have a dissolving property you know and that you know a uh, fluorite goes in this class as well you know what i'm saying again you know it dissolves external influences you know it dissolves confusion you know so you see how this goes into it. but what i want to get to is talking about uh zircon right quick and talking about zircon in connection with the aries energy you know we're gonna have a flood of just uh aries energy being affected you know what i'm saying with certain planetary transits you know and with astrology you know it's not to make it seem like oh astrology controls my every action like no you know you free will you take actions you know in alignment with your inner guidance or lack thereof sometimes but more you know in, in these moments you know with your inner guidance but long story short you know uh the zircon this is a little piece i got for myself with zircon and labradorite but uh just showing how the mineral the mineral class that zircon is connected to you know uh basically 
is pointing to a lot of Aries energy. So it's from the silicate family and it's a uh, rank silicate. And these are, you know, with the chemistry vibes, if y'all familiar, again, it's all going to the vibration of the crystals. But you got island silicates where the, you know, the uh, chemical uh, formation shape in the tetrahedron. But basically, island silicates help strengthen resistance. You know, so this island silicates have a strong Aries energy. As a matter of fact, again, zirconium is an island uh, silicate. And again, the way the island silicates are structured results in very compact minerals with high density. You know. So again, and what it helps with is to you know, live life in accordance with your own wishes. You know, uh, it represents individuality because, again, being on an island, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and as I'm bringing up this, this is not to promote, you know, uh, extreme, you know, like loner or extreme, you know, uh, individuality. You know, it's just uh, speaking to the Aries energy, you know, the Zircon crystal, how it's connected with this, uh, this mineral class. And because this is coming up on how to heal our individuality, like healing the individual perspective and connection with the collective, you know, you got Chiron and Aries right now, Jupiter and Aries, you know, Neptune soon is going to be in Aries in the next two or three years. Saturn's going to be in Aries, you know, so Aries. And then with this new moon in Aries coming up in March, you know, uh, you're going to have a lot of planets in Aries in that moment, in the moment of the new moon. So, because matter of fact, the sun going to be entering Aries, you know. But <laughs> Aries, Aries, Aries. But uh, the island silicates, you know, strengthen resistance, you know, again, help you to remain true to your own convictions, even when under great stress, you know. But these are the crystals that are island silicates. You know, these are mostly different. My fact, you had a whole Garnet family. These are all Garnets right here. And then olivine or peridot or chrysolite. What this one is? Silimonite, <laughs> titanite, topaz. So topaz is an island silicate, and zirconium. Again, that's the. And you know. Hyacinth is the word, you know, mentioned in the Bible, you know, when uh, talking about the Aaron's breastplate and the, you know, crystals in the uh, breastplate connecting with the 12 zodiac signs or 12 tribes, you know, these 12 archetypical personalities, these 12 archetypical expressions of one being in essence, you know what I'm saying, creating little dimensions or energy fields. You know, but again, seeing the zirconium, you know, so no coincidence, I come across the zirconium and we about to tap into these strong Aries energies. But again, uh, just showing the added perspective right now with mineral classes and again, how mineral classes also play a part in, you know, the... Uh, the energies, you know, connected to crystals. But again, tapping in with those island silicate crystals, you know, to strengthen your vision. Because again, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a balance of, you know, being in your uniqueness while still, you know, like being in your uniqueness while bringing or adding value to the collective, you know what I'm saying? Like you being, you know, 
like you doing what you love, being, you know, being who you love to be, doing what you love to do. You know what I'm saying? That creates a harmony, a, a harmonizing vibration inside of you. And so therefore, you're going to be giving off a harmonizing vibration and you're going to be harmonizing to the environment, which is the collective. You know what I'm saying? So. But like that tug and pull of the collective and the individual, like the individual beefing with the collective because it don't want to give up none of its individuality. The collective beefing with individuality because it feel like you got to be on some hive mind. Just put the collective all the way first extreme. You know, it's like it's not about extreme collective. It's not about extreme individual. You know, it's about finding that harmony, you know, within those expressions but just want to share that right quick a little crystal you know vibe with the tribe matter of fact and only one of these gonna be available soon in the uh i don't know which one is gonna be out of the two because one of them already claimed by somebody but yeah Tapping in with the Zircon, tapping in with the Island Silicates, tapping in with the healthy Aries energy, you know, and then also remembering that, you know, uh, again, Island Silicates is a way to tap in with this, basically it's like a one energy, you know what I'm saying, an individual Aries energy. You know, and then also tapping in with red crystals or crystals that promote the Mars energy, which are mostly all red crystals or, or crystals with iron in them. But most crystals are red because of the iron in it. So, you know, what I'm saying tapping in with the iron based crystals as well. You know, what I'm saying. But yeah, let me see if I got my little sheet with me. Saturn going into Pisces, you know, and also being aware, like, especially with like the more the outer planets, you know, they take a longer time to make a full cycle. So, you know, the last time that a certain transit was at play, like, so when we come into a certain planetary transit in connection with a zodiac sign, you know, it's like going back to see when the last time that was in alignment and, and, you know, getting an idea of how the energy was in those moments, you know, so like say, for instance, we going into Saturn and Pisces right now, you know, matter of fact, uh, this month, you know what I'm saying? And it's going to be like that to 2026, you know, but the last time that was in alignment was 90, 1993 to 96. So, you know, you think about 93 and 96 in your life, you know, some of us was very younger, probably could care less about keeping up with what we was doing in that moment. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But and then uh, again, you got Pluto moving into Aquarius and that Pluto into Aquarius and Neptune into Aries going to be like a significant change. Uh, just off of the strength, simply because most of us wasn't in physical, you know, uh, let me not say that, you know, uh, with the bodysuit that most of us are in right now, <laughs> most of us wasn't, you know, around in these, you know, 17, 1800, possibly in another bodysuit, but not in this one. So, you know, uh, it's not like a, a memory that's right there, like in this lifetime, you know what I'm saying? But anyway. Pluto in Aquarius, but then Neptune into Aries in 2025, and then Saturn goes into Aries too. So, you know, you're going to have a lot of Aries energy. But I'm speaking to the, the Aries energy coming up right now in Aries, in Aries season with the new moon, you know, in the equinox, you know what I'm saying? Spring equinox coming through, you know, because I'm not necessarily saying, hey, hey 
and, and which you should understand is by now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't express it enough, but sometimes it's always good to just repeat it just in case you got those, you know, newbies are just, you know, you just to bring clarity. You know, I'm not trying to say, oh, you know, make sure you're wearing these crystals or working with these crystals, you know, this whole time, you know what I'm saying? Just, uh, expressing more so with this, uh, you know, transit right now in connection with the new moon, you know, uh, and just drawing a little synchronicities of how I came to me again with working with Zircon and looking at the island silicates. And again, got a lot of Aries energy coming up. You know what I'm saying? 